Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing the compound 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. This compound is of interest in the organic laboratory for the qualitative analysis of aldehydes and ketones. The reagent called the Brady's or the Bosch's reagent gives a yellow, orange or red precipitate of dinitrophenylhydrazone when reacting with aldehyde or ketone functional groups. These are the chemicals that you will need for the synthesis of this compound. We will start by the synthesis of 2,4-dinitrochlorobenzene. And then we will be making the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. So we start with the synthesis. Actually, to move along with the preparation of 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine, use double the amount of reactants. Here I am using half of what is required as I have already prepared some amount of 2,4-dinitrochlorobenzene previously. Start by taking 5 milliliters of chlorobenzene to a 100 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask which is already equipped with a magnetic steering bar. Take another 100 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask and add 5 milliliters of 67% concentrated nitric acid and 10 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. Swirl the flask to mix both the acids. Now we cool both the flasks in an ice bath. Actually, water could be more than enough as in the next step of nitration, the temperature has to be prevented only from rising more than 50 degrees Celsius. Here we have the chlorobenzene and now we add the nitrating mixture using a dropper. Care should be taken not to let the temperature go above 50 degrees Celsius. So slowly add the acid mixture dropwise with continuous stirring. Once it is completely added, Place the flask in a boiling water bath for 2 hours. After a few minutes, I saw condensation on the walls of the flask, so I quickly placed a condenser to prevent evaporation. Pretty soon the contents start to boil vigorously and brown colored fumes of nitrogen dioxide starts to appear. What's happening here is the nitration of chlorobenzene to form 2,4-dinitrochlorobenzene. A point to note, nitrogen dioxide is toxic, so either perform this in a fume hood or outside in a well-ventilated area. After the end of two hours, the reaction dies down and no more nitrogen dioxide is produced. At this stage, the flask is taken out of the water bath and is allowed to cool to room temperature. Then the contents of the flask was poured into around 350 milliliters of ice called distilled water. Immediately you see the formation of a white solid and this is the crude product 2,4-dinitrochlorobenzene. This clip just shows the slow motion video which is the chlorobenzene crude product stirring in the ice cold water. It was then vacuum filtered and washed few times with cold distilled water to remove all the soluble and unreacted reactants and side products. The vacuum was turned on to dry the product. This is the final product 2,4-dinitrochlorobenzene. Moving on to the synthesis of 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. For that, 10 grams of 2,4-dinitrochlorobenzene was taken in a 100 ml Erlenmeyer flask. Then with stirring, add 50 ml of 96% ethyl alcohol. With gentle heating and stirring, everything dissolved and the solution turned clear, yellow in color. Now this flask was placed in a cold water bath and the temperature was maintained between 15 and 20 degrees Celsius. Continuous monitoring with a thermometer is absolutely necessary. Now add 2.8 milliliters of 64% hydrazine hydrate solution. It should be added slowly dropwise with a dropper as the reaction is exothermic. You immediately notice a change in color. What's happening here is the hydrazine hydrate reacts with 2,4-dinitrochlorobenzene to form the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine. Always monitor the temperature and make sure it is between 15 and 20 degrees Celsius during the complete addition. The complete addition took me about 15 minutes and this is what I got finally. 
Now the flask is placed in a boiling water bath with 10 milliliters of extra ethyl alcohol for about 15 minutes to digest the product. After 15 minutes, the flask was taken out and cooled to room temperature. You can see the product settling down to the bottom of the flask. Now use a vacuum filtration method to collect the crude crystals. Then the crude product was washed couple of times with ice called distilled water ethanol mixture, one is to one mixture. And then the vacuum was kept on so that the product dries up. Here is the product that is dried in the filter flask and it was taken out and weighed to 3.44 grams of it. The product very easily dissolves in hot 1-butyl alcohol and here we have dissolved the compound in around 250 milliliters of N-butyl alcohol that is 1-butanol and on cooling down to room temperature you can see the needle shaped crystals of the 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine crystallizing out. It was then kept in room temperature for 12 hours and then placed overnight in the refrigerator. The next day it was filtered using a vacuum filtration method and here are the crystals of the product. It will be better if you place the compound in a wet condition as there are some literature saying that the compound tend to explode if it is completely dry. So that's all in this video. These are my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me so that I can purchase new chemicals and equipments required for doing new videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are in the description. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe to it and click on the bell button for notifications. And I will see you in the next video.